This is Suki's night routine. She first meditates in order to make sure her mind is crystal clear. Then she reads a really complicated book because she wants to enrich her knowledge and expand her English vocabulary. She does this with a cup of super rich and warm English breakfast tea, although it's night time. She then places her book gently next to her, make sure the knowledge is really in her brain when she sleeps. And of course, she had to wear her beautiful pearl hair clips and put on her favorite eye mask. That is Suki's night routine. I'm just joking. I wish my night routines like that every single day. But in reality, hard work, sweat, picking up trash, smelling the smell of trash. But I guess I still have fun ish. One, two, three, let's go! Realistically, my evening starts with me rushing back to my room abruptly because I just went to the gym and I'm sweating like a pig and I just try to avoid any social interaction as possible. But I'm kind of proud of that to the gym because your girl does some exercise and that's good. The first thing I do is of course unpack my backpack because I'm an organized gal and I'm really proud of that. I'm just joking and never really unpack it and I'm doing it just because I know I'm filming myself. But anyway, I just kind of sit there and do nothing because I'm so tired. I just really don't know what to do. But I'm just telling myself, life is good, you know? And I get hungry. I kind of just like gravitate towards my snacks. I'm debating whether or not to eat that chocolate. But I'm a good girl, so I decided not to eat it. After that, I usually just sit and chill for a bit just to cool down and make sure my heart rate is back to normal. Of course, you need to stay hydrated because that's really important, especially after you've done exercise. So I'm just kind of scrolling through YouTube and just going on my laptop for a bit, around 10-ish minutes before I move on to making my protein shake. Okay, so voiceover is temporarily stopped because I don't know how much I want to talk in this section. After going to the gym, I always try to make protein shake straight after because I feel like it's more effective. It might be a myth, but I just stick with it because I'm hungry anyway and protein shake really kind of fills my cravings for chocolate, which is right there. I try not to buy it that much chocolate because I love chocolate and if I start eating it, I cannot stop. I try to buy like a chocolate flavor protein shake to just kind of calm down my craving so I don't need to eat immediately after the gym and actually eat wholesome food uh, after my protein shake like salmon and stuff. I will bring you guys, show you what I am going to cook for dinner. Mm -hmm. The protein I'm using right now is from Bulk Powders. It is one of the most affordable protein ever. And this is the whey isolate, uh, which means that there's less sugar and stuff. And it's a bit more expensive, but I feel like it's kind of worth it. Anyway, my flavor, I'm talking too much. My flavor is chocolate cookies. It's not the best. I hated it when I first drank it. I was like, oh my gosh. And I literally searched how to make protein taste better. But uh, it just kind of grows in you. The Fivo Life protein as well. I hated it at first. But then I fell in love with it after forcing myself to fall, fall in love with it. Normally, I put one scoop and a half. Because I'm greedy and I like it more thick. So I put a scoop and a ish yeah and then i put 300 milliliters of almond milk kind of weird not a vegetarian or vegan but i am cutting down my dairy intake because dairy is really bad for the environment and it's not really good for your body anyway so yeah i'm being like one of those you know instagram girls that kind of just cut out dairy but i'm not gonna lie to be honest i'm kind of influenced by them but i feel like it's really good it's making my body feel good and i'm doing something positive to the environment so Many months later
I also have to clarify something before you think I'm such a weirdo. I like to stretch when I'm blow drying my hair because the feeling of multitasking just makes me happy. And plus, you know, I went to the gym so my muscles are a bit sore. So I just like to do some leg stretches and arm stretches, you know, that's why I keep on disappearing from the frame and stuff. Like right now I'm doing some arm stretches just to clarify before you think I'm spastic and weird. <laughs> Blow drying my hair can be a bit boring sometimes because I have such thick hair if you didn't notice it yet. So I just like to sing and dance just to make it a bit more fun I guess. I like to use my Moroccan hair oil just to tame down the frizz after blow drying my hair even though my hair is still so frizzy. But yeah, I just comb it out and that's about it. Ooh, okay, dinner time. So today I'm just gonna cook some noodles with salmon with my mushroom stir fry. Yes, I'm using spaghetti as noodles, don't judge, and roast chicken slices from Morrison's. So at first, just kind of like simmer the noodles and stir fry together for like around four minutes. And whilst that is simmering, I just kind of cook the salmon in the oven for like 10 to 20 minutes. I actually don't know. I just kind of see when it's cooked, then I just take the salmon out. And then I just drizzle it with some soba sauce that's from Korea. Lastly, topping it up with my favorite chili sauce. my dinner tonight so I showed you a bit in the kitchen basically I use spaghetti but I didn't cook it as a spaghetti way I simply really like the texture of this noodle it reminds me of Chinese egg noodles so that's why I use spaghetti but not use spaghetti sauce so instead I used the Korean soya sauce for soba noodles and then added some sweet chili and salmon and just baked it in the oven and I put in some mushroom stir fry just to add some veggie to my dinner so this is the whole thing and it's so delicious so simple yet so delicious Okay, I'm halfway eating and I realized I forgot to mention that I did put the chicken breast. Um, you saw in the previous video but I totally forgot and I was eating and I realized I've hidden a piece of chicken breast at the bottom of my food. Done! So delicious! <laughs> After my dinner, I do normally do some cleanup before my downtime. I don't vacuum every single day, trust me. I'm just vacuuming today because my floor was getting a bit messy, so I just thought, why not? Because I do this normally at night anyway. I also normally take out the trash at night, and same, I don't do it every single night. I normally do it once a week. But this, these are all chores that I do at night before I go to sleep because I want to make sure that my room is as clean as possible before I can actually fall asleep because it will bug me and I will do it nevertheless. So why not just get it out of the way and yeah, and it did get really hot so I just decided to tie up my hair because my hair is so thick and coarse and frizzy and it's so annoying. And then it's my downtime. I kind of just use this period of time to do whatever I like to do. So this includes kind of just playing on my ukulele just to relax and tell my body that it's nearly time to go to bed. I will play a snippet of me singing if I want to. I think I will. So here you go. This is a bit of me singing. And tell me if you recognize the song in the comment section down below. After my mini jam sesh, I just go back to my normal habitat which is just browsing through YouTube, going on my laptop and until I'm tired, here command the fakest yawn ever. <laughs> yep, I was totally acting but you know I need to show you that I'm tired and then I will start reading through my planner and plan ahead for tomorrow. This planner situation consists of me just taking off the things that I wrote on my to-do list and see what I need to do. If I didn't do that thing that I'm supposed to do today, then I'll move it to tomorrow and just write down what I will be doing tomorrow. So I just look through my plan, I look through my day ahead tomorrow, look through my week to keep organized and make sure I'm up to date with all my homework and stuff, which I don't have any right now, but just YouTube and things in general. 
After my personal downtime, I have to wash my face and brush my teeth and do my nighttime routine. I don't really need to show you guys that, but I already made a video on my facial night routine, which I'll put a card right there. And yeah, I just do the things. After my personal hygiene night routine, I make sure to check that my wardrobe's closed, my curtains are closed, and then I actually do bedtime reading, even though I over-exaggerated it in the introduction, but I do do my bedtime reading, and currently I am reading Elena Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman. I am a bit late because this is a very highly rated book for quite a long time, and I just started a few weeks ago, but I'm totally enjoying it and I can't wait to finish it. So reading around half an hour and then I just feel tired, I just take off my glasses, take off my scrunchies and just turn off my reading light and just get ready to sleep. Let this go down by